Well, Ethan, back tonight with an album review, and I'm going to be reviewing. This is ZZ Top. This is Tejas. The Spanish um, spelling for Texas, referring to the state in which they hail, um, the power trio from Texas that emerged in the early 70s. This is their fifth album, I want to say, yeah, fifth album, uh, released in 1976, produced by Bill Ham uh, for London Records, 1976. You got the Longhorn on the front with the sort of Texas desert and the mountains in the back. There's the moon. Really like this album cover. There's the back. Their fifth album. Um, this came after, you know, kind of their breakthrough album, uh, Tres Hombres. Uh, their third album. And then Fandango, their fourth album, the one right before this one in 75, was half live, half studio. Really good album as well. I have that on vinyl. Um... You got a nice gate fold in here. There's Billy Gibbons right there, guitarist and vocalist. Great shot of him in the aviator sunglasses with the cowboy hat. There's Frank Beard right there, the drummer. And there is the late, great Dusty Hill with the sun shining in his, his glasses as well. So what a great, I mean, you could almost make a poster of this. Great um, vinyl sleeve, pictures of the guys. Here's on the back, the f three of them just jamming out. There's um, Dusty and Billy at the front on bass and guitar. Always right in sync with one another. Um, let's get into the track listing. Side one starts out with It's Only Love, sort of a slow tempo kind of laid back song this whole album kind of has a laid back vibe their first four were certainly very uh guitar heavy very bluesy very hard rock very heavy at times especially trace hombres just some cranking heavy <clears throat> uh les paul guitar riffs and solos from billy gibbons uh, it's only love sort of a more of an upbeat, uh, lighter song. And then you have uh, a really great song, a song called Arrested for Driving While Blind. Uh, really kind of a funky song. I really like it. Um, and the next song is called El Diablo, again, with the sort of Spanish influence in the the song titles and in the album names. Being from Texas, it makes sense. El Diablo, great song. Uh, got a great vocal from Billy. He's got that deep voice, just sort of a funky, sort of a trotting song with some sort of, you know, quirky uh, uh, lyrics, the kind of the kind of funny lyrics that they were known for, sort of tongue-in-cheek. Uh, then you have uh, Snappy Khaki, another really kind of um, light and feathery, kind of flowy song. And the last one on side, side one is in song called enjoy and get it on sort of a more upbeat song kind of a straightforward pop rocker side two kicks off with two dollar ten dollar man uh sung by dusty the bassist really great song cranking fast paced song really fun and upbeat and then you have pan am highway blues another real good bluesy song a lot of songs on this album and then you got avalon hideaway another kind of tranquil softer moodier song than than they had written prior to this uh, then you got she's a heartbreaker um which i believe was sung by by dusty and frank and then you've got um the last track sleep in the desert which is an instrumental and it's a beautiful song uh, what a way to wrap this album up. Asleep in the Desert, a guitar instrumental with weaving solos from Billy. Just beautiful, haunting melody, sort of a... Sort of a Spanish, you know, tremolo picking uh, guitar-driven song. Uh, very mellow, very moody, very melancholy. I wish they had done more stuff like this. Asleep in the Desert, a fantastic instrumental. Check it out.
Sleep in the Desert, last track on this on this album. Um, Uh, that was really I can't think of another song in their whole catalog that's like that um, just a very melancholy moody song with no vocals you know they were kind of known for their catchy uh, vocals hooks riffs and, and melodies and that's just a very different style and I really like it uh, it really showcases what a great guitarist Billy Gibbons was uh, and this is an album of theirs kind of in that middle period Right after this album was released, they kind of broke up for a short while. Um, well, they didn't break up, but they took a small hiatus, a break. Billy went off to Europe. Um, Dusty started working for the airport or something, and Frank had some problems with drug abuse. So they kind of, um, in the next three years, they kind of didn't really do much with the band. And then three years later, in 79, they come back for um, the next album, I believe it's... Uh, what is that one called? Um, De Gueo? Yeah. Uh, which is when they started getting real big again at the at the dawn of the 80s. But this, their, their, their fifth album, um, 1976, very much an album you don't hear much about. Kind of underrated. You know, uh, Sharp Dressed Man, Legs, Gimme All Your Lovin', you know, LaGrange, you know, all those kind of songs get get a lot of the praise, and rightly so. They're fantastic, but this is a fantastic album. Just a underrated, middle period, mid-70s album from the great power trio from Texas. Again, I just love that album artwork of the guys. So cool. Um, I got this vinyl, used vinyl for like eight dollars like a year and a half ago uh yeah i highly recommend this album tejas fifth album from zz top you can you know youtube it if you have spotify if you have google music if you have amazon music or whatever check this album out just a very uh, more of a low-key album like i said the four albums after and a lot of the albums later were more fun fast-paced and upbeat this is sort of melancholy this is sort of moody this is a different vibe than the other albums this vibe kind of has like a sort of a like laconic sort of a cowboy kind of Clint Eastwood vibe you know you can kind of imagine somebody listening to this with kind of like the straw in their mouth with the cowboy hat kind of tipped over their their brow so to speak it kind of has that vibe just laid back just a moody song to kind of think about and not so much the um, the you know stereotypical radio hits that that they and other bands from the same time period have. Just a great album to check out. Check out Tejas. Uh, highly recommend. I give it a ninety-four out of a hundred. Really solid album from ZZ Top. Thank you for watching this album review.